welcome back to Exfoli, excited for learning. So today, we're going to do the project Tower Siege 2. So before everything, thank you, thank you, thank you so much for all your love and support. We are, we are done with 250 subscribers and almost 300. So thank you so much. Now let's get into the video. So, this is the project. This is the hexagon and once you press it and drag it, then when it touches them you can see that some of them disappear because of the visibility um, program so this is what we're going to do and also a new function we have added is that when you press the space key then the hexagon comes back you see here it comes back i have pressed the space key so it goes the same with everything so you can see few of them disappear so that's reason okay so let's see how can we do that. So this is the tower seeds too. I have already submitted the project. So I'm, we'll look at the code in GitHub. So first let's go into the sketch.js. Okay. So we, ha um, we have to do all of these. So these are mandatory things constant const engine equals to matter dot engine and these all are what we do in our projects always so and i think this is a default thing that comes so whenever you click the start project or you unzip the folder and then you work on it on the visual studio then it automatically comes up okay so let's go into the variables it's the same variables that we have used in Tower Siege 1. So if you haven't seen the Tower Siege 1 video, so please check it out because it's a continuation of Tower Siege 1. Okay? So where ground, comma, mini ground, comma, mini ground 2. So these are the mini grounds. Mini ground 1 or mini ground 2. I'm not sure which one is 1 and 2. Next. Where block seven, 1 to block 25. We need 25 blocks for this project. So I'll show you. So you need 25 blocks. These are the small, small squares. Okay. And then we have the hexa and the hexa image. So he this is the hexagon. And you can, this yellow color thing is the image of the hexagon. Okay. Next, chain. The chain function. These are all we have done already in our Tower Siege 1 project. If you have done the additional task to complete, but if not, then please check my previous video. So, sketch.js is the same, it didn't change a lot, we, but we have changed a little in the block.js block and the chain.js. First, let us look at the chain.js. So now if you press the space key, the hexagon is coming back to its position. Let's see how does it work. Okay. Class chain constructor body A and point B. So we're connecting a body and a point. Options body A, colon body A, point. These are all like whatever are given. This we haven't changed anything over here. But we have added a new function called the attach function. Okay, so this is a new function that we are, we are <coughs> looking at. So, in this function, we so this attaches both the point body A and the point B again. So, now since it flew, so the connection between the chain and the hexagon has been detached. But when you press the space key, it's coming back, right? So for this to happen, we have to make a new function called attach. It could be any name that you wish for, like attach or join back or whatever you wish for. Okay, so it's just a name. Then in brackets, body. So what's the body? The body is the hexagon. And then afterwards, this dot chain dot body a equals to body. So now we are connecting this back. So this dot chain dot body a. What is body a in this? Area? it's the hexagon okay and equals to body so we are connecting it back to the point again so th using this code we can connect them both 
okay so let's see so this is this is the only thing you have to do it's very easy and then when you go into the sketch.js you have to add this function so the bottom you can see that <coughs> function key pressed if key code equals to triple equals to so 3 equals to 32 and then in brackets chain dot attach hex star so so chain dot attach hex star this is how you apply the code since we have made the function but you have to apply them right so it's equally necessary to apply so that's the reason if we write if key code triple equals to 32 chain dot attach hexa this is the way you attach it now you can see what is this 32 32 is the key code for um, space so like uh, 32 is so each and every letter number symbol has a key code so when you go to a specific page you can see all the key codes for that specific um, character so then um, for the space key it's 32 that's the reason you have to write key code triple equals to 32 then chain dot attach hexa okay so chain dot attach hexa it's joining so back to the chain let's just go back into the chain class okay so save attach and then body this dot chain dot body equals body hope you understood so we are done with this this um, attaching is a really easy function so it's just a two six to seven lines process now next we go to the visibility in block one and block two we have to add that so first it's the same so class block and then constructor options this dot body width height but then we add a small little from new line of code this dot visibility equals to 225 okay, so this dot visibility equals to 225 that means like this is just a you know like this is, this is just a syntax you could say for it to happen so what should happen when the hexagon touches this you can see that some of the see you can see that some of them are disappeared right so you can see that some are getting disappeared so why is it getting disappeared because it's hitting so in the angry bird function we also saw that it happens the same so whenever the hexagon touches any of the blocks with a particular speed at a particular range then it gets disappeared slowly it fades off okay so let's see how does this happen this dot visibility equals to 225 and then bird dot add world dot comma this body this is the same thing but in the display function we add few more codes console dot log this dot body dot speed we have to see at the speed right that's the reason you write this and then um, since I already submitted the project I can't but when you go to inspect then in console when you go to console see this is the speed so you can see this is the speed since I wrote like the console one console dot log this dot body speed so these are the speeds of it so when you click right click and inspect then you'll see like a small box appearing Not sure why it's happening, but uh, I showed you already. So that's how you see the speed of it. Now you saw that it was just varying, like it wasn't going more than three. The speed was just two, something like that. I want to 
in length. So, yeah, so why are few of them getting disappeared? Because they are coming, falling from the top. And while it's falling, the speed is getting more than three. So that's the reason some of them are getting disappeared. So you can see that. I don't know. But when you go to inspect over here, yes. Then you go to console. It will take some time. Okay, so I got it at last. So you can see that the speed is not more than 2 0.27, you know. So it's really less speed. So that's the reason what I have written over here or what I have coded is that if this dot body dot speed is less than 3, then where angle equals to this dot body dot angle, where position equals to this dot body dot position push then translate everything is normal so when um, the speed is less than 3 so then everything is not but else or else if if the speed is more than 3 then world dot remove world dot this comma this body so we are removing this object from the world and then push and then this sorry this dot visibility equals to this dot visibility minus 5 and then pop so this is the rgb color code so for it to fade off so when you minus 5 it then it will slowly fade off since there uh, the speed is more than 3 then the visibility will be constantly reducing right and we are using an array over here. So that's the reason we are adding a new value to the visibility. So first once the speed is more than 3, then the visibility will be 250, 220 because minus 5. So this dot visibility is 225. So minus 5 will be 220. Then 250. Then 210. It will be decreasing like that till it totally fades off. Okay, so that's how it works. This was the code for the visibility one. We're just going to sketch our JS. Okay. So there's nothing much more. So this was the project. It was really easy, but um, the visibility thing can get us into a little problem. And by the way, it's the same for block 1 and block 2. It's the same because we're not using any names in this. So that's the reason you can directly copy paste this for both the blocks. So we are first removing the world from this. We are removing this body from the world. And then this dot visibility equals to this dot visibility minus 5. So the visibility, the number 225 will be reducing by 5 every time the speed is like more. So the speed will be constantly more than 3. So that's the reason it will, the visibility will decrease to 0 and it will fade off. This was the project and there was nothing much to create even more. But we have to just update the game that we have already made. It was really easy. So that's it for today and if you like this video please like share and subscribe don't forget to watch our previous videos for more details and thank you thank you thank you so much for your love and support thank you bye